You may have seen these pictures and posters during history class or in a textbook. They represent a supposed bygone era when human beings were sold and bought like cattle. It's been almost 150 years since most countries around the world has abolished slavery. As our society moved on, slavery simply moved underground and into the shadows of our world. But slavery evolved and adapted in modern times to continue its traits such as forced labor, debt bondage, sex trafficking, and other exploitations. According to a report by the International Labor Organization, a UN agency, modern-day slavery which exploits tens of millions of people is estimated to generate more than $150 billion yearly in profits for their exploiters. Experts have argued exactly how many people are currently enslaved in modern times, but have placed that number as high as 40 million people. Out of the millions of people trapped in forced labor, 16 million people are exploited in the private sector, such as domestic work, construction, fishing, and agriculture, where they are forced to work without pay under the threat of violence and unable to walk away. The Walk Free Foundation investigated a total of 162 countries and found slaves in every single one of them. However, the practice is far worse in some of them than others. A report written by the World Bank found that women and girls are the main targets of economic exploitation. Exploitation can both be consensual and non-consensual. Consensual exploitation usually results from a lack of economic opportunities, and non-consensual exploitation involves the threat of violence or deception. Debt bondage is a widespread means of coercion, where people are forced into labor to pay off the debt that they own. But the longer it takes to pay back the debt, the more interest accumulates on the original loan. Underdeveloped and developing countries tend to have a higher rate of slavery. According to the Global Slavery Index, 18.4 million Indians live in slavery. The country's caste system causes widespread discrimination combined with poverty at epidemic level. Slavery is a familiar practice. The Council on Foreign Relations report that it is common for families to be enslaved for generations, never having the means to pay for their freedom. Modern slavery has great impact on international markets as well. In fact, it is very common for products and services produced by forced labor to end up appearing in global markets through seemingly legitimate commercial channels. In a recent report by Amnesty International found that cobalt used in lithium batteries that power our electronics might have come from slave labor. Children as young as 7 years old are forced to work in dangerous situations for long hours and constantly subjugated to violence and intimidation. The cobalt mine is used in many household brands, such as Microsoft, Lenovo, Dell, and Apple. An increasingly growing consumer demand for electronics drives illegal mining activities, but this is not a problem that simply plagues the mining industry. Forced laborers produce some of the foods we eat and the clothes we wear, and they clean the buildings in which many of us live or work. Some countries sponsor slavery of their own citizens. In 2016, it was projected that 4.1 million people around the world were victims of forced labor by their own government. North Korea's government is infamous for state-sponsored slavery. Hundreds and thousands of their own citizens are sent to camps to work in state-sanctioned forced labor. Furthermore, North Korea sends tens of thousands of their own citizens to other countries as cheap labor. According to former workers and human rights researchers, they are sent to work long hours in difficult and dangerous conditions, making very little money. Their government can send them anywhere from Chinese factories and Russian logging camps to construction sites in the Middle East. Most of the money earned by North Koreans overseas is confiscated by the state. Slavery thrives in places that have weak laws protecting their citizens and a lack of properly trained law enforcement. But an inadequate justice system is not solely to blame. Extreme poverty and those that are cast to the bottom of society are often the ones that lack proper resources to support their family and turn to perilous employment. In addition, traffickers prey upon the most vulnerable by enticing their victims with a false future. Slavery unfortunately remains tragically common in today's world. Already, governments and international organizations have mobilized to end this practice once and for all. In 2016, Obama signed a bill that prevented imported goods produced with forced labor to enter the U.S. But it is very clear that this abuse cannot be eliminated through strict criminal prosecution and active law enforcement alone, rather a broad approach addressing the root of the cause. Poverty, wars, environmental disasters, and economic crisis all have devastating effects forcing some into slavery. Social protection by the government is therefore an important tool in mitigating this practice. Another way to prevent slavery is fighting discrimination. When society treats women and other ethnic or religious minorities as less important or less worthy of protection, they are more likely to become slaves. However, the easiest and most efficient way for us to fight slavery is simply spreading the word. Informing the general public about the existence of slavery and pressuring local government to take a stand.